um, my name is Susana. I'm gonna be your nurse for today. Um, and uh, I'm gonna check the patient's records and the patient's records is the, um, okay, so the patient's name is gonna be Claudia Hernandez. And then her date of birth is 06-11-1991. And then now we're gonna, um, the provider has, has um, prescribed an order of um, an inwheeling catheter. All right, and now we are going to gather our supplies, which is right now here, right next to me. Okay, and then now we're gonna wash our hands. We're gonna wash our hands, wash our hands, okay. I already washed my hands. And now we're gonna give the patient some privacy, so we're gonna close the door. And we are going to give the patient some privacy, okay? And now um, we also going to um, to <laughs> identify the patient because we're already on the room. So her name is Claudia Hernandez. Let me see. Yes, your name is Claudia Hernandez. 06 11 1991. That's correct. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, explain to you. Um, about the procedure that we're gonna have today, and we're just gonna do an inwheeling catheter, and I'm gonna inflate a little balloon. Um, okay, for uh, urinary retention. Okay, perfect. Now, um, I just want um, Ying, if you can please, um, I'm gonna put some blankets on top of the patient so like that the patient can be um, comfortable, and then. Um, the patient's uh, perineal looks clean um, and looks on the skin this doesn't have any skin breakdown that's good um, and now we are going to start with our um, inwheeling catheter insertion okay so we are going to um, Put the t I tell the patient that we're gonna do on a supine position, so the patient's gonna be in a supine position. Please, to so bend her knees, and then uh, bend her knees and drop drop her knees, um, so she's more comfortable. Now we are gonna gather our supplies, okay? And now we're gonna open front. We're gonna do right. We're gonna do left and then back okay now the first uh, pad is gonna be under the patient so we are gonna have to move this um, our stair feel stair feel we're gonna have to move it okay and then we're gonna have to we're gonna put our little pad on the, the patient's uh, knees for any drainage or um, any concerns, any drops. Okay, so now that we did that, now we are gonna go to the sterile field. I'm gonna stay here uh, to the sterile field, and now we are going to oh, yes, the sterile field. We're gonna move to the side, and now we are going to gather our gloves now we're gonna put the gloves on um, you can see it there yes okay that's good we are gonna open it up open it up to the side as well then grab it from here to here back from here to here always grabbing your glove from this section, which is non sterile, and then you put Ooh. now we're gonna grab this way right here, like this, so we can put our hand in here. All right, and now we already have our gloves. Okay, now we are going to 
prepare oops prepare or sterile beer okay we're gonna prepare our sterile beer i don't know where to can you see it there um i'm going to prepare our sterile beer i'm gonna put this here Okay, and now we are going to move the clan to the side. We are going to pour. No. Or iodine. Okay. okay, we're going to pour our iodine. Open it. We're gonna open it and then pour it on the glow on the cotton balls right here. Okay, perfect. I feel that's already done. We're gonna throw the iodine because we already used it. And now we are going to put lubricant on the corner of the box right here the corner of the bag save all lubricant all right now we're gonna go here and we're gonna put it back on the side okay now we are going to with my dominant hand, clean the labia minora. We are going to clean the labia minora. Use our um, cotton ball um, close to the garbage. One each time. Each time, never use it twice. You clean it. You clean it. You clean it. Okay. And now you clean in the middle. Clean at the bottom of the my now. The labia minor. There you go. Okay, perfect. Now that we have done that, we are going to use our catheter. Alright. Okay, and now we are going to lubricate. We are going to lubricate with the corner where we put the lubricant, the lubric lubricant. And then we are going to tell the patient that it's gonna feel some pressure and then just to relax, okay? And then we gotta put it all the way in to make sure it goes all the way in and then you gotta see urine you gotta see urine um over here that means that um the catheterization is on the right place okay all right perfect now we are going to secure these on the patient's bed just to make sure the patient doesn't to secure it on the patient. You, some of them are, can be on the leg, but this one will be by the bed. Okay, so we put it. Okay, perfect. That's it. Now we insert in a catheter. Now we are going to make sure that it's attached to the drainage. How are we going to know that? So we got to. Uh, make sure that urine comes that um um that you see urine all right so in this case yes the patient has some urine in there okay sounds good um all right and then um please just um i'm gonna tell the patient to relax i'm gonna put the bed again oh i'm gonna wash my hands um I'm gonna take this off, take the gloves off.
take the gloves off and then I am going to make the patient comfortable. So um, um, we're gonna look for, um, we're gonna put the um, blankets again to cover the patient so the patient doesn't feel, um, so the patient doesn't feel um, cold. And then we're just gonna ask the patient if it's fine, if they feel any pressure, if they feel okay. But in this case, the patient is not complaining, okay? <laughs> okay now we are going to remove our our inwaiting catheter so i am going to wash my hands i'm gonna wash my hands i'm gonna put some gloves put some long gloves all right all right some long gloves right here And now we are going to get our syringe, attach it to the balloon, so we can get, so we can remove, so we are going to get a syringe, attach it to the balloon, blah, 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 so it should be here, um, attach it to, um, to the balloon and then uh, we're gonna get some air or any fluids and then we're gonna aspirate we have air any fluid we got it already okay and then we are going to make sure the patient is comfortable and um and we're gonna open up the light the labia minora and then we are going to slowly take it out slowly 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 slow very slow okay and then just ask the patient if they have any pain but this patient didn't have any pain we are gonna take the whole catheter and then we're gonna put it on the appropriate recipient which is the garbage all right we're gonna put it on the garbage now we gonna um we are going to um check on the patient how the patient is feeling and now we are going to finish for this part and then we are gonna go and we are going to day and time of, uh, and we're gonna do the day and the time of the uh, catheterization, which it will be um, um, is the CO2 or 09 of 2021. And it was at six in the morning, okay? And now it's just, um, we are gonna um, check for any urine, the color of the urine. In this case, there was no order by the, pay, by the provider to get any urine I put output and um we don't have anything else to do um let's just make sure that before um we leave the patient we clean the patient the perineal area up properly and then check for any skin breakdown or any um source of drainage or any infection in this case the patient is um perfect the skin looks um, with no break, no break on the skin, um, patient looks with no infection, and the perineal area is pretty clean, okay? And then um, I'm just going to wash my hands, and then just document the whole process um, to make sure that we got all the information. And that's it. Um, and then I'm going to see the patient next time. Um, and then just make sure we let know the patient to always uh, clean, um, clean to clean, and then um, make sure that he urinates um, the sooner the better. Okay, perfect.